think it's all pretty encouraging, isn't it? It's the, already the, the second active cave system outside of Jenga Excalibur in the North York Moors. Good stream going down it, good draft coming out of it. 60 metres vertical range, 4 kilometres horizontal. What's not to like, really? Looking good. It's a cave. <laughs> it's a... But this has been pretty much flowing every session for the last six, seven, eight weeks. But a lot of water all vanishing off into the limestone. It's all looking pretty good. Sneak through. What's that roof looking like, Andy, on that left? All right. Well, people yeah. with the active face seem to have gone. And I think we might be advancing forward. You can hear the water, the water roaring in the distance down that little pot. The voices of them are just dropping away. And the voices, yeah. Them. Yeah, we can't hear them anymore. Up ahead, we have a chamber. Or behind me. Um, I think it's seven people in, I think. Quite big enough. And there's a stream passage going off. A flat out bedding like shit creek. Um, Cawthorn is the future of the Northfield Mars digging. Very good. Very good. So behind me, about seven or eight metres of wriggling through blocks, sort of with the streamway, uh, mostly a, a sort of a foot or so underneath us. And then it... It comes out into a, uh, a chamber, sort of breakdown chamber. I mean, we think we had something like seven people sat in it at one point. And then uh, some pretties, some style. Feels like cave, you know, a bit of flow stone on the walls. Solid roof, really good roof, but still boulders jammed everywhere a bit precariously. Um, and then beyond that, it goes, drops down actually to the streamway through a little hole. And the way on is like a flat out I and mean, it really will be a flat out crawl in the stream. Uh, there's a mud dam at the end that just needs to be demolished and you'll probably be able to get through to what looks like another tiny chamber. And it's unclear whether the way on at that point is still with the streamway or back up onto blocks again. <sighs> but it's still going. I mean, that's 15 meters tonight, maybe, maybe a bit more. Um, and it's, it's becoming, the further in we get, the more it's becoming like a proper a proper proper river cave. Um, the less choss we're encountering, and the more sort of solid the walls seem to be becoming. So, oh, it's really exciting. Really, really good. See what Connor reckons. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Am I the last out? I am. What do you think? Yeah. I think uh, I think 15, 15 meters is is possibly a bit pessimistic. I think you're looking at 20, and the the, the final chamber is significant. With you, yeah, it's just stunning. Really, really, and it goes on, and you you drop down into the streamway, and the walls of it all the way around are are stream formed. In my humble, uninformed opinion, I'd say yeah, it's. Uh, can't wait for next week. Excellent. Last one in, last one out, I think. Well done, the pipe. Well, um, as uh, Sparky so concisely said, I don't turn up for two weeks. 
and you fuckers put on about 50 foot onto the cave. <laughs> so, Andrew, you, expl you explain the geology of it. Off you go. You understand these things. Um, there's some rock and the water has <laughs> flown through it and collapsed all the roof as it's gone. And we've pulled the rocks out and got through to the other side where there's a vast chamber. A lovely well, it's chamber. not fast, is it? <laughs> well, we just fit... Well, it's the largest yeah. chamber in the system. You're wrong, it's eight people's size. Actually. Sorry, sorry. 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 